CrackBear.com. Hey everyone, it's Zach from CrackBear.com. Today we have a new application for the playbook called Node Beat. So what it is, is a music application, lets you create music. But it's got a little twist on it. So your normal music application, you know, drums or a piano, Node Beat is these little nodes and they create beats. And what they do is you connect them to create different sound effects and you can actually make music with it. So we've got two options here, we can create or we can listen. So listen is it's auto-generated by the app. You know, interesting but not as much fun as creating it yourself. Uh, and then down here you have what these little icons are. So you have a node panel, octave generator, beat generator, and a note. So you use those all together to create music. So let's go create. And your background is touch sensitive, so essentially it's almost like a piano. Let's turn that up a little bit. So for now we're going to turn that off, so your settings are right there in the bottom. You can add nodes, you can audio, so that's things like your octave, your scale, your waveform. Um, they're all right there. As you change them, the sound effects will change, so we'll look at that in a second there. Rhythm, you can actually record what you're doing, and settings, so we're going to change the background to turn the keyboard off. So let's start. We're going to add a beat first. We're going to add a couple. Actually, grab one, two, three, and now we need our octaves. So we'll put those right there, right there, and let's go with blue one over here. So now you can put into your, your notes. So as you, when you first start this sap, you're really not going to know much about it and what does what. So you're really going to have to play around and see what you can create. So. So just by adding that, we're connecting to all these nodes here. So, at least with me, it doesn't sound too much like music yet. Um, obviously, I hope as time progresses, I get better and better. But if you have the setting turned on, which is shake to clear, you've got your music going, you don't like it, and it's gone. So what else we have here? Let's just throw a couple in there quickly, just to kind of... Now if we go into the audio settings, we can change the information to give us a different sound. Change the octaves, the amount of echo. And how quickly it releases. And then the reset button to bring everything back. Like I said, you can record it, um, which is right there. It's just going to be saved onto your file, uh, your, your music file, so you should be able to access it through the computer and through the music player. But in terms of rhythm, we can change that, we can change the tempo, so how quickly things are, the beat, and you can sync all generators. So it's not all chaotic as it was before, and let's reset, go back. You can also save your layout, so if you're, you know, you've really got a good tune going, you can save it, so later on you can come back to it which is right there. And you can hide away your nodes, so all you have is your nodes and the keyboard in the background. If you're feeling stuck, you got an information screen, tells you what things do, and you can also connect to them via Twitter, Facebook, and email them. When I mean them, I mean the developers, of course. So this is No Beat for the BlackBerry Playbook. It's Zach from CrackBerry.com. See you guys later.